Hi, welcome to this uh, video today, which is on the 3rd of December at Sunday. We're going to be looking at a couple of trade setups. We looked at them last week. They're Euro JPY, Euro CHF, and we are extremely bearish of the Euro. We think these trades could um, yield 300, 500 pips or more. Now, in terms of the Euro, what I want to do when I've finished with the charts, I'm going to come back and discuss um, basically the fundamentals in Eurozone and why we are so bearish. The media tends to think everything is okay in Eurozone. It isn't. I think it could be going down a long way. Okay, so we'll discuss the fundamentals after we've done the charts. Now, in terms of just for new viewers, some um, what we're going to be doing is using very simple technical analysis and focusing on the big levels that major institutions do. And to help us do this, we're using our favorite tool in Forex trading, the COT, the Commitment of Traders Report. If you don't know what it is, it's a fantastic tool in helping you spot potential big moves, okay? Um, and if you wanna learn more about it, just simply click on the link beneath this video and join our mailing list. If you just wanna watch the video through right now, just keep in mind what we want to do is always trade with smart money commercial hedgers when their positions diverge significantly away from speculators. Right, let's start with Euro JPY and it's gonna be the weekly chart right, first. The Euro Japanese Yen weekly chart, just see the, the, the big picture. And I've also put up the CFTC net traders positions. We're going to draw uh, some levels on the daily chart in a moment. But in terms of the CFTC net traders positions, what we have, speculators, 5.6 to one in terms of their longs over their shorts. Commercials 5.4 to 1 in terms of their shorts over their longs. Obviously, the speculators are very bullish about the euro. Commercials hold the opposite view. Divergence of 11 between the two groups. Now, regular viewers will know this. We really do like divergences above 10 because, yeah, you can look for a break in favour of the commercials. Now, if we look at the chart here, I've drawn a, a line of resistance at 134. And as we come up here, okay, the COT, sorry, COT divergence moves above 10. And we're really struggling to take out the 134 level. I think any move above 134 won't be sustained, okay? Now, in terms of if we look at where uh, the euro could be going, obviously it looks, well, it is, it's sideways at the moment. And, you know, the good thing about the COT is it's giving us clues of which way we could break. Uh, we obviously think we could break to the downside. Now, in terms of support, I think you'd say it was just about there, okay? And if you look at where I'm putting my line, okay, it's obviously this tail here and the 20 um, week moving average. And, you know, a strong bull trend, you yeah, know, the moving average should provide support. If it breaks, then I think we can expect a move to the downside. So where do I think we could go? Uh, we could go, first stop would be 128, okay? But I think we will go all the way down towards the 124 level. And you'll note here, I put a, a little note on this candle here, or two candles when we start to take off to the upside. Um, that was when the market got very bullish about the ECB uh, reducing stimulus. Now, I've mentioned it in my video in terms of USD JPY. I think Japan is now getting close to reducing stimulus. And that really is going to firm the JPY uh, across the board. So it's been um, a little bit of a frustrating one for us this because it's just been going sideways. But I think we're getting ready for a big break to the downside. So let's uh, shift over to the daily chart and look at some levels of potential entry stop. Right, on the Euro JPY daily chart, and we know obviously from the weekly chart, 134 is uh, a pretty key level. Um, obviously, we've got big spec buying coming in here. Get above the level, then we fall back. We can't hold above it. Same specs tried here. Can't hold above it. Nearly get to the level here get to it here, then this red candle pokes through and comes back. So we've got, yeah, commercials reselling really hard. Yeah, specs trying to break it higher. I, I just don't think 
they're going to do it. Um, I just feel now that the euro is going to have, yeah, obviously a correction to the downside. And yeah, 134 is the first level. And then obviously, yeah, you know, yeah, if you're coming in, you want your stop back behind the second level. R1 is uh, 134.65. And if, I feel, yeah, when you look at this chart, um, obviously it, it, there is sideways consolidation here. And I think, yeah, obviously down towards here. Sorry, I'll draw my line straight. There we go. Yeah, if you look at it from pure technical basis, you'd probably, as a pure technical trader, to want this level to give way. Uh, with the COT, obviously, is giving us a warning sign. We want to be early. We're already in. We think we're going to run down to this level. If this, if this level breaks, you get a move through 131. Um, you are going to see, in my view, pretty quickly, 128. Okay, so sorry, where's one? Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to draw my line. So obviously, that's a big weekly support level. And then you've got, obviously, 124 as the second target. So, yeah, obviously, we're projecting these levels from our reading of the COT. And it, it, if it goes to plan, obviously, it's got to go to plan. That will be a really, really big decline. So I personally, yeah, I always like to be in early so we're already in when we get through this level that will really um signal um a move down in the euro a, an accelerated move down i expect 128 at least and like i said i'm pretty um optimistic when we get to 124 yeah plenty of stops to get hit euro discounting uh, uh, you know all the bullish news in my view which i'll discuss later on and of course you know Japanese, in my view, I uh, mentioned it earlier, they could well be on the verge of hinting at withdrawing stimulus. So, right, that is my view of Euro JPY. Now, let's shift over and look at Euro CHF, and we're going to look at the weekly the, chart. Uh, Euro CHF weekly chart, and uh, just quickly, the CFTC, that traders, speculators, 4.5. Uh, to one in terms of their longs over their shorts are pretty bullish. But look at the commercials, 8.8 .8 to one in terms of shorts over longs, heavily bearish. Big divergence in this pair, 13.3. Uh, it's big divergence. Um, it's above 10, obviously, but historically it's a big one as well. Now, in terms of what we've got, I've noted it here. When we start to move up here and get rejected at 117, the, the COT divergence moves above 10. Commercials coming in to sell against the speculators. This week, new high. Um, and we finished, yeah, you know, just very near to the low. I personally think you've got that level to take out, 116. Where could we go? Uh, first stop for me would be here. Okay. It's about 113.50. But really, I just feel that we are going to go all the way down to here. Okay. This big blue candle is obviously where the market got very bullish about ECB stimulus reduction. I think most of it is going to be retraced. So if we do go down to that level, it'd be a really nice trade. Obviously, it's got to do it. But, uh, uh, you know, the way the weekly chart looks this week, that rejection, that red candle, uh, I think we're going lower. So let's go and draw some levels of uh, entry, stop and target. Right, we're Euro chart. CHF daily, and we know there's a little bit of a battle that has taken place uh, into the 117 level. The specs obviously trying to force the euro higher. Commercials selling against them, get divergence really move up here. Um, specs trying to get through, commercials opposing them, come off the level, come back to the 20, have another go here, can't do it. Back to the 20, that one goes through can't hold this one tries this blue candle just on thursday settles above 117 but friday's candle for me very bearish uh we do force to a new high no more buyers up here and then a nice red candle to the downside which takes out the 20 day move in average and the low of the previous candles so i think 116.50 
will provide um, the first level of resistance. 116, though, really has to give way. I, I said last week, we've come in early. We've come in at 116.80, stop at 117.50. But I want to add to my position. I just want to see this 116 level taken out. I think 115.80 would be a good level to come in short and then see if she runs. Now, from a pure technical perspective, you might see some support here or you might see some support here. I'm keeping the COT firmly in mind here that we're going to get a stop run. OK, uh, speculators are going to bail out on stop. And yeah, I think we'll be going down uh, towards uh, the 113.50 level. So really here. OK. So that be my first target. Obviously, we've seen the second target is going to be 110.50. Well, now obviously, we'll see how this trade progresses. Now, if you come in through the 116 level, where do you want to put your stop? I would still leave it behind this tail. Like, I wouldn't move my stop just yet. I'd like to see another nice red candle, and preferably the 115 level taken out. Then bring the stop in behind the 20 day moving average. Um, from our point of view, um, we always like to leave the stop a little way back. Obviously, everyone does things in their own way. But I think, you know, 116, if we break it, uh, 113.50, uh, 250 pips. And then, obviously, if we do run on to 110.50, we can add another 350. We'll have to see how it goes. And I think this chart, you know, I've said it in previous videos, it doesn't look that exciting, maybe, from a technical perspective uh, 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 at the moment. If you just yeah, look at the technicals. When you know the COT, um, you can basically work out uh, what might happen. And, you know, previously looking at this pair, divergence that big should get big. Stop it. We shall see. Right. That is my review of Euro CHF. I will come back off that uh, short review there of those two Forex pairs. We'll see how they go. Now, in terms of um, Eurozone, the outlook for the Euro, I just want to look at it from the shorter term perspective and also the longer term perspective. Before we talk about the fundamentals, so uh, a lot of people ask me why I don't cover Euro USD in my videos. Um, I do think Euro USD is going down, but I think I've said it in quite a few previous videos. It doesn't always offer the best risk the reward. I think yeah, traders want to focus too much on the Euro USD. Yes, I think it's going down, but at the moment I prefer Euro CHF, Euro JPY. Now, if we look at the Euro rally, okay, and the fundamentals, um, Euro rally, really great one across the board based upon uh, the view that the ECB is going to reduce stimulus. They've indicated this is on the cards, okay, but it isn't going to be as quickly as the market expects. And the market is expecting too much. They're focusing on the economic data. And if you look at uh, yeah, the majority of media reporting on Eurozone, they're very optimistic about the economy and how well it's doing, isn't doing very well at all. Just take Germany out of the equation and you've got lackluster growth, to put it mildly. I was reading last week about how well France is doing. Um, I said it because it was doing so badly before, you'd think that Italy was a booming nation. It's got terrible problems. Mario Draghi is very aware of this as well, and he won't be reducing stimulus as quickly as the market feels. Also, I think the market um, is discounting a bullish solution uh, in terms of Angela Merkel and a coalition. Well, that's in the price. I think that could easily go wrong. OK, now, in terms of the real problem of the zone. And Mario Draghi is very aware of this. This is why I won't reduce stimulus as quickly as the market expects. OK, think of um, cooking a meal and you've only got one heat. OK, so let's say reducing stimulus and turning up the heat, i.e. pushing interest rates up. Now, you've got a steak, you've got potatoes and you've got vegetables, right? So you want to cook at the higher heat, the steak can take that. It needs to be cooked for longer, doesn't it? That's Germany. It's going to come out all right. But if you turn up the heat, OK, what's going to happen to the potatoes? You cook them too long. Well, they're going to come out a bit of a mess, aren't they? They're going to be overcooked. That's France. And the vegetables are going to be obliterated. Well, that's Italy, Spain and Greece. They can't take a higher interest rate. I don't think they can really take 
too much of a cut in stimulus. That's Mario Draghi's problem. He can't cook the meal too long. OK, if that kind of makes sense, hopefully it does. But, you know, Eurozone is not like the United States of America. It's a very diverse collection of countries, all with different needs and different interest rates. Um, Mario Draghi has actually mentioned this problem before. He wants structural changes in a lot of countries. They can become more even. Let's say France, for example, uh, reforming labour laws just isn't happening. Um, and he said, you know, there's only so much the ECB can do. So he'll carry on, I think, with the low heat. OK, but yeah, it, it clearly is a major, major problem. Also, you've yeah, got a lot of discontent in the zone now in terms of people. Um, you know, if uh, we have the election in Germany, we get the far right parties again. Look at the problems with Catalonia. OK, we had problems with Greece. Um, lots of other people are unhappy in Eurozone. OK, in terms of wealth distribution, it's not even. Look at Spanish youth unemployment. It's massive. Um, yeah, it just isn't working. And yeah, at the minute, I just think it's going to go on. Um, and then something really bad is going to happen. OK. And yeah, I can't say when it will occur. But I think next year, Eurozone is going to run into serious problems. In the short term, I definitely think um, the Euro fundamentals have peaked. Also, yeah, looking for a move to risk off. OK. That would strengthen the USD against the euro, in my view. But, yeah, CHF uh, and the JPY are going to soar higher. They're already showing signs of turning, as we've just seen, OK? I, the, the JPY and the CHF. A bit of risk off. Uh, and, yeah, we'll see them go far higher. Um, for me, I'm just not optimistic about Eurozone. I mean, it's a great concept to have all the nations united. But from my perspective, yeah, I'm actually half German and uh, my family are from the very liberal city of Hamburg. OK, normally pretty pro the EU. They're not as pro as they used to be. OK, and when you've got problems in Germany, well, that is the real problem for the zone. Um, so for me, uh, going forward, obviously pretty bearish of the euro. Right. That is the video for today. Thank you very much for watching as usual. Take care. Have a good day.